guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a swatch and talk through the next Moonshine Manny collection. If you're new here to my channel, Moonshine Manny is my indie nail polish brand. Indie means independent. I am not backed by a company. This is something that I do on my own. Everything is handmade and hand mixed, hand bottled hand shipped out to you guys. This is my my baby. So each month I launch a new collection on the second Friday of the month and that's coming up here on April 10th and every month when I launch a new collection I also add one more polish to the Project Dupe It collection. The Project Dupe It collection is something that being a long time nail polish lover helped me think about. Basically, there are polishes that are lemmings for people that mainstream brands have produced and since retired from years past. Polishes that are almost impossible or are very, very expensive to get your hands on or you just absolutely can't get them anymore. Project Dupe It was my idea to make a polish that's similar to something that are on a lot of people's lemming lists that's just kind of something you can't really get and that frustrating feeling at really wanting a certain look and the polish that originated the idea was Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. I wanted to try to create a polish similar to the formula and color of that polish, and that's where this collection began. Since then, I have added a few polishes to the collection inspired by mainstream retired polishes. I ask for you guys to let me know what polishes you want to see inspire a polish in Project Dupe It. So this month, also on April 10th, I have a polish coming out that's inspired by China Glaze, Don't Let the Dead Bite. So that was a polish that came out in the Apocalypse Collection from Halloween, I think it was like seven years ago. Um, and it was a flesh colored polish, kind of like a Crelly formula that had red glitters inside. And you guys have highly, highly requested this polish in my Facebook group. And it so happened that I have this polish in my collection. But the tricky thing is, is this polish, the glitters that were used in the original formulation of this polish, they bled into the base of the polish, which can happen from time to time. So my bottle of China Glaze Don't Let the Dead Bite, the base is a straight up pink coloration. So then I ran into the problem, well how do I know what color to make this base? I had to go off of images online of swatches that looked like they were taken as soon as this product launched because since the glitter was bleeding color into the base and just turning the base pinker and pinker over time, I knew that the longer away from the launch date that the swatch picture was taken meant the more pink was gonna be in that base. So I'm telling you all this to let you know that I did my best guess with this polish. When I looked at the original swatch photos and like promotional material for this polish, it looks like a nude, like very pale skin flesh color. So that's what I've done and I made it a Crelly. I wanted to make it very squishy looking so you can really see the glitters being built up on each other inside of this pale nude base. And then the other change that I made, instead of looking for something that is very, very similar to the exact glitter that was used in the original, I chose some holographic glitters in a variety of shapes and sizes that are all this gorgeous like ruby red hollow. This glitter is one that I've worked with in the past and I feel pretty certain that it's not going to bleed into the base. And that was one of the main reasons I chose that glitter. So this polish is called Drop Dead Gorgeous. You'll find it in my Project Dupe It collection. If you're new to Project Dupe It, you'll find a lot of polishes in there by now. We have quite a few to choose from, but I really hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm nervous about it because I couldn't swatch the original polish to know for sure that I was getting a super similar color. And I'm just hoping that Drop Dead Gorgeous evokes the idea of the kind of fleshy, crelly polish that the original polish was meant to look like. Next, we're gonna move into the full collection. This collection is called Boom, I Still Got It. We have six polishes in this collection, and as always, I have a bonus add-on for you. So we launch at 9 a.m. on the 10th, and the deal is that if you purchase the full six-piece collection, you get the bonus add-on for free, and that runs through 9 a.m. on Sunday the 12th. So now for the theme for this collection. Brands formulate their collections months in advance, sometimes up to six months in advance. It just depends on the maker's creativity, where their brain is, whether they're thinking at Christmas time, let me plan summer. It has to give you time for formulating a product, gathering materials, sending out to swatchers, 
Preparing everything for the launch, it takes months of time in advance. This collection is inspired by the comedy of the show, The Last Man on Earth. And I know this is less than perfect timing to be launching this collection right now, but I did want to let you know that I had this collection planned since January and I decided to go ahead and release it because the polishes in the collection are inspired by the comedy and the fun-loving spirit of this group of individuals who become a chosen family and specifically how one man rises to the occasion and chooses to basically move from being a very selfish individual to being an emotional support to his chosen family and really how these individuals choose to make the best out of a not so great situation. So I did wanna address that up front. This was not something that I did on purpose because of the circumstances that we're going through right now. It was absolutely coincidental. And I hope that you know from watching me over these years by now that I'm always drawn to what is loving and kind-hearted and funny usually. And that is definitely the reasons that I chose to inspire these polishes after the characters in this show. So I'm gonna go ahead into live application for all these polishes. I'm gonna do two coats of everything today as I always do. I'm gonna go in alphabetical order and we're going to finish off with the bonus add-on. That polish is available separately, but if you'd like to get it for free, it is available when you purchase the full collection for the first 48 hours after launch. And it just comes automatically with your collection. You don't have to add it to your cart or anything. Okay, so as I always do, I pick my favorite quotes from shows that I inspire polishes after. And so some of these might be slightly spoilery for events in the show. You'll definitely still be able to enjoy the show if you hear these quotes, but they're some of my favorite parts in the show so I had to use them as inspiration. Speaking of which, the whole collection is called Boom, I Still Got It. The main character, Phil Miller, whenever he makes a joke, he likes to say boom or boom, I still got it, like right after he makes the joke. And uh, so that's what I decided to name the collection. So the first polish is called C to the T, and this is a pastel holochrome. What I have termed a holochrome is a polish that has a formula that is equally holographic and a multi-chrome. And when it's a pastel multi-chrome, it has a lighter coloration than a multi-chrome, which is usually a very dark pigmentation because of the metallic pigments used. So a pastel holochrome is like a pastel multi-chrome infused with holographic. This polish shifts from like a purple to pink to gold, and it's very, very holographic, and you're gonna get it opaque in just two coats. So this is kind of a blinding, colorful, hollow experience on your nail while giving you very light wash of color from the purple, pink, gold spectrum of the rainbow. Okay, the next polish in the collection is this really lovely sea, like dusty sea green. This one also has holographic. It has um, delicate hollow micro flakies, and I used some shifty flakies in this collection um, that I really, really like. They're kind of like these ghostly shifty flakies they shift between two colors. I used two different ones in this polish. One is shifting from a green to a blue and another one shifting from like a gray to a purple. And it just gives a really cool effect and I really, really like them. So those are the elements in this dusty kind of sea green. This polish is called Friggin' Todd. The guy who becomes Phil's best friend, through the duration of the show, his name is Todd, but when Phil first meets him, he doesn't like him very much, which is sometimes what happens with the best of friendships, and he refers to him as friggin' Todd, because he really doesn't like him. So next up, I have a polish for Carol. So Carol is Phil's love interest in the show. She is definitely a kooky character, but I wanted to make a very feminine, pink, glitter curly for Carol. She is just such a fun character and she's an artist and she just has such a sweet mothering instinct while being very funny and kooky at the same time. I decided to make her polish a thermal. So this shifts from like a darker pink to a medium pink and then a light kind of hot pink shade. And then inside this polish, I've used a number of different blue and purple glitters. So this polish is called Go For Carol and this is a line in the show when she's using walkie talkies and she's trying to get someone to talk to her on the walkie talkie and she's like, go for Carol, go for Carol. And that is a thermal polish. If you've never tried a thermal polish before, 
Thermal polishes do have the chance to freeze in one of their states. Basically, that means that it stops transitioning over time. I have thermals that are still shifting after years and years, but I do just wanna put that disclaimer out there because it is known to happen with thermal polishes. Next up, I have another pink. This is a heavy pink collection. This polish is an electric raspberry micro hollow glitter, full coverage glitter polish. It's not a topper. This polish is called Mike and Bezaquil. And Mike and Bezaquil are the names that Carol would like to name her babies. I just had to name a polish that because um, Carol is very preoccupied with having babies, but she has trouble conceiving. So it does play a big part in her character storyline. The next polish alphabetically is another pink polish. So another one of the things that um, Phil says and some of the other characters in his chosen family say this phrase as well. They say, oh farts. So whenever Phil messes up, instead of saying, I guess a curse word, he instead says, says, oh farts. Um, so this polish is called oh farts. And this is a bubblegum pink curly and it's filled with all these different iridescent elements. We have micro iridescent glitters and we have medium iridescent glitters that are in hexagons and squares. And we even have some iridescent flakies. You're getting mostly blue, green, and like a gold to red kind of shift. This is a crelly because I meant for you to layer this on. I'm gonna show it to you in two coats today. You could do three coats if you wanted to get even more squishy layering. And the last polish in the base collection is called Out For What Do You Need That Gun? And this is another polish inspired by Carol. One of Carol's personality quirks that Phil has a really hard time with when he first meets her is she corrects people's grammar and in like a, a strange way that you really don't hear very often. And one of her particular uh, rules that she follows is that you can't end a sentence with a preposition. <laughs> so she phrases things really interestingly sometimes. And one of my favorite lines from her is, out for what do you need that gun? And this is a ghostly cloudy lavender Crelly. And it's again filled with these really beautiful flakies. In this formulation, we have the um, kind of turquoise teal to beautiful blue shift in this flaky. And both of the polishes that use this kind of flaky, I kept on the sheerer side because I didn't want the pigmentation of the base to overpower the flaky. I really wanted you to be able to see that element. And that's the final polish in the base Boom I Still Got It collection. And now I'm gonna swatch the add-on for you. So this one, like I said, is available separately, um, but you will get it for free if you're ordering the full collection in the first 48 hours. So this polish is probably my favorite line out of the show because as you know, I really like musical things as well as comedy. And um, Phil Miller, he likes to play guitar and sing songs, but he's not really that great. And I don't want to spoil the whole plot point of this, but this polish is called Closure Closure. And he's trying to give somebody advice and he's talking about how they need to have closure. And he puts it into a song. And let's just say one of the main lines from the song is closure, closure. And Tim and I definitely have some lines from the, this show that we say to each other a lot. And one of them is closure, closure. So this polish is called closure, closure. I really wanna sing the rest of the song, but I won't. I'll just tell you the name is closure, closure. So this is this really lovely um, dusty blue with purple undertones and it has a very strong pink to teal shimmer in the base and it also has matching flakies that are shifting from pink to blue to teal. The iridescent kind that let the light pass through so I definitely kept this one again a little bit on the sheer side so you get the squishy nature of the curly. Alright I've talked a long time as I always do on my swatch and talk through Moonshine Manny collections because I just want to share with you all the reasons why I made the polishes like I did. Because I just want to share with you my creative process and tell you the why behind everything. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. These do launch on April 10th. I really appreciate you being here today and laughing along with me, hopefully. I think in general, I'm a person who tries to look at the bright side of things 
and usually the funny side of things. Probably one of the main reasons I gravitated towards my husband because he keeps me laughing all the time. And especially when things are heavy in life, it really does wonders just to laugh. A little laughter makes every day better. So I hope maybe something here brought a little smile to your face if you haven't seen the show yet. It is a fun time. If you still haven't spent enough time with me today, that's awesome. There's going to be two more videos pop up on your screen in just a second. I'd love to have you come hang out with me for another video if you want to watch me swatch some more things. I hope you're having a fantastic day. All the links and other information you need are in the description bar below. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you back very soon. Take care until then. Bye.